Ms. Markle's father, Thomas Markle, is poised to release a shock statement that will rock the Sussexes on GB News tonight. Mr. Markle will join host Dan Wooden at 9 p.m. live on air. Commenting on the revelation, Twitter user Dr. Selena Tui said, Poor Harry and Meghan. First sat old peers using them to publicize his new show, now GB News using Meghan's dad. The interview comes just days after Prince Harry sparked backlash for suggesting he needed to check the Queen had the right people around her. Thomas Markle, 77, has been estranged from the Duchess of Sussex, 40, since 2018, and did not walk his daughter down the aisle on her wedding to Prince Harry. Since then, he has publicly criticized Harry and Meghan. GB News Dan Whitten announced on his program how Mr. Markle will fly to London to celebrate Her Majesty's Platinum Jubilee in June. Mr. Wooden said Mr. Markle will travel with the broadcaster and hopes the grand gesture will allow him to reunite with Meghan. Mr. Markle also hopes to meet his son-in-law, his grandchildren Archie and Lily Ebet and royal relatives for the first time. In an interview, he said he is looking forward to paying his respects to the royal family. He said, I'm going to show my respects for the Queen, and I'm going to let them know and make sure the Queen understands my entire family respects the Queen and the royals. We admire them and we want them to know that that's how we feel about them and that's how we feel about England. Mr. Markle added he would like to meet Charles and thank him for walking my daughter down the aisle. He explained, I think we have a lot in common now. We've pretty much both been ghosted by our children. So yeah, I would really enjoy talking to him. If that's possible, that would be great. An unhappy Mr. Markle also blasted his son-in-law for his reluctance to travel to London from his California mansion home for the Jubilee over security concerns. Mr. Markle said, I think it's ridiculous. He knows how much security you're going to have. He's totally safe in that situation. So I don't understand the things he says and I have so little respect for that man. I think he's an idiot. In an increasingly brutal attack on Harry, he added, he's like a child. He follows my daughter around like a child. He's not a man. You can tell me he was in the military but, I can't believe it. I think he's kind of a wuss and always will be. He's got a brother that's a real man and he's got a father who is a real man. But I don't think he's ever growing up. Later, he also agreed with former U.S. President Donald Trump's assessment that Harry was whipped by Meghan. Trump urged the Queen to strip Prince Harry and Meghan Markle of all their royal titles as he described the Duke of Sussex as being whipped like no person I think I've ever seen and led around by his nose. Mr. Markle said, well, that's the only time I'll ever agree with Donald Trump. Trump admonished Harry for being so disrespectful to the country and an embarrassment dash adding that the Queen should ban him from even visiting Britain and tell him, frankly, don't come around. Mr. Trump also said Harry had been led down a path and that he wondered whether the Duke, who stepped down as a senior royal in early 2020 with his American wife, would go back on his hands and knees and say please. Earlier in April, Thomas said in an interview everyone would hate Harry and Meghan if it wasn't for their PR team. Speaking to celebrity photographer Carl Larson on their channel Remarkable Friendship, Thomas criticized Harry for his legal action against the Home Office over police protection. Mr. Markle said, he should be ashamed of himself, and ashamed to ever go back to England. But, I'm prejudiced against him, so. Mr. Larson responded, I don't know, I think other people feel the same way. Mr. Markle then added, well, if they didn't have this multi-million dollar public relations team, everyone would hate them. Now, only 90% of the population hates them, 